Welcome back, everyone. The Emerald Symphony returns this weekend with another delightful program and a guest conductor that I can't wait for you guys to meet. This is Brett. Uh, Brett, welcome onto the show. So, how did this come about? How did you get the gig to be able to come into Emerald to do a little uh, guest conducting? How does that work? Happened very, very last <laughs> minute. I think I got a call from my manager maybe not, yeah, maybe a week ago today, something yeah. like that, saying they need a guest conductor. It's very last minute. Here's what the repertoire on the concert is. Here are the pieces that they're playing. And the good news is, I live very close by. I live in Denver, which is just an hour direct flight. So that was easy, yeah. Happened very quickly, which is great. So um, I guess you didn't have a whole lot of time to fret about it. It was like, <laughs> okay, here's the music. Let's yeah. look over it and let's do it. Yeah. Well, and it's great because, you know, with uh, a lot of the pieces that we do in the orchestra mm -hmm. world, like the big piece we're doing on the second half of the pro uh, program, Schumann's Fourth Symphony, this is a piece that we would consider like standard repertoire. This yeah. is a piece that we've all done a lot of times. So that's not really a, a problem. Right. Um, there is a, a piece that we're opening the program with by Bach okay. uh, that I've never done before. And I was like, oh boy, how's this going to go? And then they sent the score in the mail. It's only four pages long, which is very that, good That's news. helpful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, and then the other piece on the program, a wonderful Mozart piano concerto uh, with a soloist named uh, Jeremy Denk. Jeremy and I actually did uh, a different Mozart piano concerto together with my orchestra in Denver last season, the Colorado Symphony. So it all kind of felt very comfortable. Yeah. Everything fell in place very quickly. We are so glad to have you here. So let me ask you this. Um, I always, anybody that comes in, whether it's a guest conductor or we have uh, an artist that comes in, I always ask them about the space when you walk into yeah, the Emerald like Globe News Center for the Performing Arts. Yeah, listen, even before I walked in for the first time, when I was kind of Googling around an Amarillo Symphony yeah. and all of that, and then I looked at the space, I was like, what is happening? It's yeah. beautiful. And in fact, when I posted about this on social media uh, at the beginning of the week, uh, the picture that was on the social media post was, of course, of the Globe News yeah. and it is extraordinary and the people that were commenting on the post so many of them were commenting on what an extraordinarily beautiful venue yeah. so uh, the great news is is that once I got into the venue not only does it look beautiful it sounds fantastic and as well that's wonderful that's why we want you to go out and be a part of it so uh, run down the program for me one more time about sure. everything that you guys are gonna have yeah so we open with this wonderful Bach piece called Mein Jesu my Jesus okay. um, that was arranged by uh, the conductor that conducted Fantasia that old Walt Disney yeah. movie in 1940 Leopold Stokowski was his name and Stokowski Kofsky arranged something like three dozen Bach works, and this is one of those. So beautifully arranged for yeah. string orchestra. The second piece is the Mozart 19th Piano Concerto with uh, our fantastic soloist, Jeremy Denk. Yeah. And the big piece on the second half of the program is Schumann's fourth and final symphony. It's a uh, really fantastic program. Well, Brett, we're so glad that you're here. G go be a part of this. Uh, and not very uh, often we get a wonderful guest conductor in. Thank you for coming in from Denver. Go out. Remember, if we don't support the arts, no one will. Go out and be a part of this wonderful program. Coming up next, corrected vision has been proven to help students become twice as successful in school. When we come back, a new program is helping kids all across the country with glasses at no cost.